Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Sanborn TV. I'm your host, Emily, today, and we will be exploring more of our senses, specifically the sense of smell. The sense of smell is really, really cool because it's connected to so many of our other senses, like the sense of taste. If you've ever had a head cold before, you might have noticed that you can't necessarily taste everything as well, and that's because you might be a little bit stuffed up in your nose. It's also connected to our sense of sight because we look at everything before we eat it to identify what it is. So today we're going to do an activity called the smell test, and that tests, tests the sense of smell if we take away the sense of sight. And this activity can be done with two or more people, so you should ask your family members or roommates to help you out with this activity. And it also only uses things you already have in your pantry or in your refrigerator. So as a facilitator, if you're playing the part of me, you'll, play, you'll prepare five or six little containers of smelly stuff. Things that you have in your house that have a very distinctive smell. Or you can also include ones that might be a little bit more tricky to identify. I use Tupperwares to contain my little smelly things because I think it's helpful to close them up so that the smells don't all mix together. Um, but if you have Dixie cups or bowls, you can also use those types of things. As for my smells today, I've used coffee grounds and some lemon juice some curry powder, some pickle juice, some soy sauce, and some garlic. And an important part of this is that you actually really don't need very much of each ingredient and that way you can save them for uh, future use. Um, and so because they're pretty smelly, they'll take up the whole Tupperware and so you don't need to use very much when you're doing this activity. Awesome, let's try it out. Okay, so once you have all of your supplies set up, you can invite the person who's actually going to do the smell test to come out to your workspace. And this person should also be wearing a blindfold. As we discussed, this is an important piece of the smell test puzzle. Fantastic. Okay, then you can pick up your first smell test object. Again, the Tupperwares are helpful so that those smells don't get mixed around in the world around you. So this one, this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna have Anne smell it once and give me a guess about what it is. Is it the, what's there? Coffee. It's coffee. Coffee, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I'm gonna close that one back up. Now we're gonna go for number two. Let's see if this one's harder. What's there? I can't smell anything. Can't smell anything. Is it nothing? It's not nothing. That would have been a good trick though. <laughs> All right, we're going for number three out of six, just so you know. Okay. Participant. Halfway there. Halfway there. This one might be a slight curveball. Curveball. Wow, not a curveball. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I can actually smell that. That's pretty good. All right, number four. Here's what this one looks like. What's there? Garlic powder. Be less specific. Just garlic. Yes. <laughs> nice work. Ding, ding. I think that's uh, three out of four, correct? Let's see if you can get five and six. Okay, this one is quite fragrant. That's pickle something. Pickle juice? Yes. Nice. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. And six out of six. Let's see if Anne can get this one. <laughs> I don't know. I should know. I, I think, know. just think about it. All right, Anne got four out of six. <laughs> nice work, Anne. You can take your blindfold off. Thanks, everybody, for participating in our smell test activity. We hope you have a great day.